Hey, what is going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today with a quick video on resource management, but more ultimately, uh, the importance of actually being able to save and hoard resources in this game. Um, so uh, if you guys have followed my channel, you'll know that I'm 100% free to play. Um, I've actually amassed about three years of gameplay in the game now. Um, haven't spent a single dollar, but I've actually attributed all my success to really being uh, resource management and, and knowing when and when not to use resources. But the key behind that is being able to hoard resources now more ever than before now that we've seen how some of the events are run, guys. So in this video, I want to talk to you about the importance of hoarding and why it's actually relevant and it's more important than you think uh, despite the fact that we're not using resources when it's a resource management game. So um, first and foremost, guys, we have seen in the past that now with the milestones, um, the, the game has been pushing us to save these materials more so now than ever before in order to actually get further into specific milestones or even just to make it easier for us. So unfortunately, I don't have it on screen, but I know I've made videos on this before, was that previously we had that feel the burn uh, milestone relating to Firestar. And for that one specifically, we just needed to open training orbs, which allowed us to actually easily max that out um, and then completing that quickly. We also had a Bucky Barnes event. You know, uh, Bucky Barnes was one of the newer characters as part of that uh, Invaders team. And uh, sorry, I don't have it built up, so it's probably a little harder to find. But um, yeah, I, I didn't um, I didn't actually need uh, to, you know, uh, go through and, and unlock him uh, using power cores or anything like that. Uh, it was all attributed to the fact that we could get through it with the milestones. And I believe he was training orbs, gold orbs. But one of the two, uh, it was an easy unlock. And most folks were able to do it on day one. And that's what I mean. Uh, when they're tying these monthly events to milestones, uh, it adds further justification on why we should be saving these materials and not just opening it, um, especially when you don't need it, right? Uh, especially if you look at my balance, guys, my power cores, my gold. Um, I actually have been uh, starting to save up another um, stockpile here of my training orbs just because you never know uh, when these events come. So this is a great time to do so as well. But yeah, for sure, uh, milestones is really good justification, uh, all the reason to make it easier for our gaming experience. Next up, uh, we also have the reasoning in the future of what we've seen already from the past is that they've updated orbs. So um, if you guys recall with some of these uh, elite orbs, teal gear orbs, they've added additional new materials now in the game. And when they become part of the orbs, we get a chance now to actually get them. So for example, uh, superior tempered osmium, this was a new one. Uh, we also had, I believe, this Fortify Chromium, specifically needed for uh, Zombie Iron Man, Quicksilver. Uh, these were added into the Raid Orbs after they were updated, right? So that's what I mean. Uh, another great reason why uh, we shouldn't be opening everything just because we have it, because of the fact that more and more newer materials are coming into the game. And unless they're, you know, scoping these, uh, these orbs out and adding another one, kind of what we've seen with the Milestones, it doesn't really make sense to open them up if you don't need the resources because we're essentially creating a uh, future-proof orb that's going to capture updates. So opening them now when you don't need it doesn't really add, val add value unless you absolutely need them to level up to the next uh, gear tier level and so forth to obviously further your progression in the game. But yeah, guys, uh, big one, Milestones, uh, the, the upstate to the orbs is, is, is essentially just a free a freebie for us to take advantage of, right? especially if there's RNG. Uh, we know the importance of, of uh, luck being a factor, and we want to maximize as much as we can. Um, the last uh, last tip here, guys, in my honest opinion, is um, the resource management. You know, and, and a quote really sticks to me is that you're richer than you think you are. Um, because you don't really actually know what you have until it's gone. And, and what I mean by that, guys, is that as we're kind of progressing through the game, um, you know, going through uh, the different uh, end game stages, even the mid game stages, if you think about aspects like uh, Dark Dimension, you know, going through um, the Dark Dimension stages, building your characters up, trying to get up certain level characters uh, to participate. For example, Dark Dimension once requiring six yellow stars. Um, Dark Dimension 2, Gear Tier 13, Gear Tier 14 for uh, Dark Dimension 3, and Dark Dimension 4, Gear Tier 15, and so forth. But if you're continually using the resources that you have right now, um, it's not good planning, right? We by, by ensuring that we're whoring and having the stockpile, it actually gives us more than enough time to actually plan and be able to be proactive and smarter in terms of our decisions. So 
even though uh, it seems like I have a crazy amount of gold for the 120 million I have, I have uh, 300 plus orbs right now just sitting to be used. And that's because of the arsenal. Maybe there's gonna be an update in the future that they add more gold, I don't know, but um, it doesn't matter because I don't really need the gold. But uh, if you're just going ahead and using all your resources and your gold, um, it just takes away that opportunity where we can actually plan and think carefully, uh, especially when there's updates happening and especially if we can use this to the best of our advantage where there's events coming in tandem, right? So um, I think by hoarding, it, it creates a resource management mentality uh, where you're saving by planning better, but as well being able to take a step back analyze what are some better decisions in the game and ultimately uh that's huge guys that's going to be translating to a more efficient gaming experience and that's probably why i've been able to progress as far as i have uh being free to play and being in the very end game of the stages and it's never held me back um from let's just say players that do spend money in the game i can compete with them uh, all the same uh just because of the effectiveness that i've generated from from the these smart resource management tactics so um, last but not least, guys, um, this advice, I do admit, it is more so tailored to the end game, folks, uh, especially those of you who kind of are going through day in, day out, going through the Doom 3 raids, maximizing, and now we're at a point where um, gold's not really an issue, uh, materials is not really an issue, now it's more so uh, which characters do I want to upgrade, uh, while at the same time maximizing these milestones here, um, as you can see with the, the golden opportunity, right? Um, I never spend more then I believe um, after I get past the 1 million mark, I stay around milestone 9, milestone 10. Um, just that way I get some resources. But honestly, uh, the big one is milestone 7 because you get power cores there. And after that, uh, everything is kind of just uh, sub-optimal, right? But um, yeah, again, guys, uh, this advice is tailored to the end game. But if you start managing these tactics earlier on, say like even when you're level 20, level 30, level 40, and you're not finding that you need to open orbs, I would save them, honestly, just based on everything I've said with the updates, uh, revisions being added. Um, only exception I'll say, guys, is if you're starting off earlier in the game, um, I think the most meaningful orbs that you should open and should not be hoarding, unless you're in the end game, are uh, the premium orbs um, and as well as the uh, basic orbs, obviously. They give amazing value because you just never will know what you can get and they're not discriminant to certain characters. And then also as well, um, the milestone orbs, guys. So uh, the milestone orbs gives you such a variety that earlier in the game, you do need more characters to kind of fill in the roster uh, to be able to, you know, for example, you can only use villain characters in the villain chapter. So it makes sense by having more options. It's going to make your time easier, especially if you know some characters are going to do better than others. I, I think that's pretty much the exception, honestly. Um, the milestone premium orbs are a huge value, especially earlier on, and they're exciting to see which characters you're going to get. Everything else, though, training orbs, gold orbs, um, I, heck, I would even argue, uh, uh, I know I know. once you get uh, past the mid game to end game and you've collected um, you know, any character beyond the seven yellow, any of those extra shards are going to go into ultimus orb fodder. And I really like the ultimus orbs because uh, I've been meaning to make a video, maybe just unlocking, uh, um, you know, uh, showing and revealing all the orbs and what I'm going to get. Because I do like the fact that they give a lot of different variety of characters. And again, it's kind of similar to the basic where they're not discriminant to certain characters. You can see we get a chance to uh, really uh, touch on a lot of characters that aren't even in the game and farmable yet. Like more specifically, you know, uh, Absorbing Man, Agatha Harkness. Agent Venom, um, relatively newer characters, but they're available here. Oh, Bucky, uh, Captain America World War II, uh, Captain Carter. So, I mean, there's some great characters in here. I, I do like that for that fact. So I probably will make a video in the future, but I mean, this one continues to get better and better as the uh, as the game works against us to not put characters that are farmable. The Ultimus Orbs actually do get more value. And as well, I do like their versatility that you can use them on, obviously, the orange gear here as well when you need it. So uh, that's big, guys. Um, other than that, I don't really um, recommend uh, holding on to the ISO Orbs. Like, I, I just haven't had time to open them. But, I mean, to be honest, I don't see reason to hoard these either but everything else i think uh it, do it does make sense in terms of value um another good one would be the war orbs right and i'm glad i kind of saved on this but uh we knew that there was going to be a teal gear war orb coming uh it was just whether or not there was going to be a new currency to utilize but guess not so i haven't used any of these elite war credits and now we can take advantage so there's just a just some examples there where uh being patient uh waiting it out being smart with your management of uh, resources can actually add value in the longer term, especially if you don't need it. And that's really the difference maker there, guys. 
So, anywho, uh, that's just my two cents. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm curious what you think, if it works or what doesn't work for yourself. But uh, so far, it seems to have worked for me for the past couple of years. And, uh, you know, I've gotten to a point where I'm just comfortable uh, with all these resources not being used. And, and when I am ready to use it, I'll be definitely taking advantage of it, whether it be a milestone update, uh, whether it be an orb update, or maybe uh, materials I actually do need to utilize uh, in the immediate time. So, thank you as always, guys. Do appreciate you guys checking my videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.